Imagine a world just beneath the waves, silent, vibrant, and teeming with life. Here, the ocean's surface is only a thin veil, hiding a realm of color and movement that few have truly witnessed. Sunlight dances across coral gardens, where shoals of silver fish move as one, and giant manta rays glide through the blue. Every ray of light reveals a new wonder, illuminating the intricate patterns of coral and the shimmering scales of countless fish. This is the Eritrean Red Sea, a secret kingdom largely unseen by the outside world. Its remote reefs and untouched shores have kept its mysteries safe for generations. For decades, its pristine waters have been a living library of biodiversity, untouched and thriving. Here, nature has written its own story, uninterrupted by the noise of modern life. Every coral head is a bustling city, nudibranches crawl, moray eels lurk, and sea turtles continue ancient cycles. Each creature, no matter how small, plays a part in this underwater metropolis. The soundscape is alive with clicks and pops, a symphony of hidden life. These sounds tell stories of survival, communication, and the constant rhythm of the reef. Here, nature flourishes in isolation, each organism playing a vital role in a delicate web. The balance is fragile, yet it has endured for centuries, shaped by the forces of time and tide. The Eritrean Red Sea invites us to marvel at its resilience and beauty. Its reefs are a testament to the power of nature to adapt and survive, even in the face of change. This is more than a stunning landscape. It's a story of survival and hope. The corals here have weathered storms and warming seas, standing as beacons of possibility for reefs everywhere. As we explore this hidden kingdom, we uncover vital clues for the future of our oceans. Scientists and explorers alike are drawn here, searching for answers that could help protect marine life around the globe. It's a world we must learn to understand and protect. Our actions today will shape the fate of these reefs for generations to come. The journey here is a journey into the heart of our planet's marine heritage. Each dive reveals new secrets, reminding us of the wonders that still exist beneath the waves. Let's look closer and see what this underwater world can teach us about resilience, about beauty, and about our own responsibility to protect the treasures of the deep. Eritrea's history has, by chance, preserved its greatest natural treasure, a place where time seems to stand still and nature flourishes in rare harmony. The Dalak Archipelago, over 200 islands scattered across the Red Sea, remained untouched for centuries, its vibrant reefs growing undisturbed by the outside world. This isolation became a natural shield, allowing coral ecosystems to thrive as they once did everywhere before the pressures of modern development and overfishing. The coastline is a living tapestry of golden beaches, lush mangroves, and dramatic volcanic islands, each supporting a web of unique marine life and coastal species. Most islands remain uninhabited, providing vital nesting grounds for seabirds and turtles, while the surrounding waters nurture countless species of fish, dolphins, and other marine creatures. Local communities, relying on traditional fishing methods passed down through generations, have helped maintain this delicate balance for centuries, living in harmony with the sea. Exploring the Eritrean Red Sea is like stepping back in time, a rare glimpse of what oceans looked like before the impacts of industrial fishing, pollution, and climate change. These reefs are vibrant, dense with life, and bursting with color, a true rarity in today's world where healthy coral ecosystems are increasingly hard to find. This accidental preservation offers scientists a living laboratory to study resilience, adaptation, and the secrets of thriving marine environments. The Dalek Archipelago stands as a vital baseline for healthy reefs worldwide, showing us what is possible when nature is allowed to flourish. It's a jewel of marine wilderness, a sanctuary for countless species, and a powerful lesson in the value of leaving nature undisturbed for future generations to cherish. 
The Southern Red Sea is a place of extremes, hotter and saltier than almost any other coral habitat on Earth. Here, the sun beats down relentlessly and the water shimmers with heat, creating an environment that would seem inhospitable to most marine life. Yet Eritrea's corals not only survive, but truly flourish, earning the name Super Corals for their remarkable resilience and ability to thrive where others cannot. These extraordinary corals have evolved unique genetic traits over thousands of years, allowing them to withstand heat and salinity that devastate reefs elsewhere and adapt to rapid changes in their environment. While other reefs around the world bleach and die under stress, Eritrea's remain vibrant and full of life, a beacon of hope in a rapidly warming world where coral reefs are increasingly under threat. Their strength supports a rich and intricate web of marine life, from tiny invertebrates and colorful fish to apex predators like sharks, all depending on the health of these reefs. The survival of these corals means survival for entire communities and ecosystems, both underwater and for the people who rely on them for food and livelihoods. Scientists now race to unlock their secrets, hoping to protect reefs globally by learning from these natural survivors and applying their lessons elsewhere. Eritrea's super corals may hold the genetic key to the future of coral reefs, offering hope for restoration and resilience in the face of climate change. They are a living repository of resilience, a testament to nature's adaptability, and a natural laboratory for our planet's uncertain future. For years, Eritrea's underwater world was a mystery, hidden by isolation. Now, scientists and Eritrean researchers are mapping and studying these reefs with cutting-edge technology. Remotely operated vehicles and satellite imagery reveal the seafloor's hidden topography and monitor reef health. Genetic analysis of supercorals uncovers the secrets of their heat tolerance. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding how to help reefs adapt to climate change. This new wave of exploration is training Eritrea's next generation of marine scientists. Their work is shared globally, building a foundation for long-term stewardship. Rediscovering Eritrea's reefs is about knowledge, protection, and hope for the future. Eritrea's Red Sea is a global sanctuary for marine life, a living library of genetic diversity. These reefs support migratory species and sustain local communities with food and protection. Healthy reefs defend coastlines from erosion and storms, vital in a changing climate. The super corals here may become a genetic arc, helping restore reefs worldwide as oceans warm. This is a planetary insurance policy, a resource for all humanity. The international community has a shared responsibility to help protect this heritage. Supporting Eritrea's conservation is an investment in our collective future. The fate of this underwater world is tied to the health of our planet. Eritrea's pristine sea is a gift to us all, one we must cherish and protect. Its preservation is a legacy for generations to come. Eritrea is now joining regional and global conservation efforts, recognizing the Red Sea's shared future. Marine ecosystems cross borders. Fish, pollutants, and climate impacts move freely. By collaborating, Red Sea nations can protect more effectively than alone. Eritrea participates in regional reef monitoring, sharing data, and best practices with neighbors. International organizations provide funding, expertise, and training for conservation. This partnership accelerates progress and ensures protection is based on the best science. The Red Sea, once a crossroads of trade, is now a crossroads for environmental stewardship. Eritrea's preserved reefs are a unique asset in this new era of cooperation. The world's coral reefs face a crisis. Most could vanish by mid-century if warming continues. In this bleak context, Eritrea's thriving reefs are a beacon of hope. Their resilience offers a vision of survival in a warmer world and a baseline for science. But these corals are not immune to overfishing, pollution, or careless tourism. We have a rare chance to prioritize conservation from the start. 
sustainable, community-led ecotourism and careful management are key. The goal is not exclusion, but balance, empowering locals as guardians. Eritrea's reefs offer a fighting chance for the future of our oceans. They are a living hope for the planet. The future of Eritrea's Red Sea lies with its coastal communities. Generations have lived in harmony with the sea, guided by traditional knowledge and sustainable practices. Empowering these communities is the most effective way to protect the reefs. Sustainable fishing and community-led ecotourism secure both livelihoods and marine health. Education inspires the next generation to value and defend their natural heritage. The story of Eritrea's Red Sea is one of connection between people and nature, past and future. Protecting this marine wonder is a task for all of us. Together, we can ensure this hidden kingdom remains a vibrant testament to life's resilience.